for oh. an offer for eighty dollars online this morning, but I said yeah. fifty dollars. Are you? Come are you on eBay? No, I'm on Depop. Why are you silent to me for fifty? Because I can't be bothered going to the post office and sending it. All right, guys. Happy Sunday. Flea market Sunday. Pretty excited about what we've got ahead today because it's a really nice, bright, sunny day, and when you get good weather. You get good items down at the flea market, basically. So, I'm shooting over there right now. We're gonna jump into it. Really gonna try and find those high ticketed items, those really high valued items. And uh, I'm gonna come home and take some photos on our iPhone and then put it into a mailbag and send it off to somewhere around the world. Pretty simple game, right? So let's get into it, should be a fun day. It's always my favorite day of the week. I love this stuff. We'll see you in there. Oh, no worries at all, my man. I'm from Hobart. Hobart? Yeah. Unreal to get you here. What are you got? You on holiday? I'm or? visiting a friend who's also into it. I inspired her last year. Oh, that's incredible. She's been watching the videos. Oh, there. unreal, man. No, I get a real kick out of it. I actually get a, the biggest kick out of coming down here on a Sunday morning. There's a lot here. I watch your YouTube channel. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you. No, I'm that. Nice to meet you, yeah. yeah Alan and Tessa. Unreal. Yeah, yeah what's, um, what sort of stuff are you trying to buy? Oh, I like clowns. Comics. DVDs. Yeah. yeah, unreal. DVDs. I mean, you're going to find a lot of box sets out here today. Anyway, thanks. Keep it up, mate. Nah, no stress yeah. at all. Good to meet you. Nice Great to meet you. Too. We'll see you soon. Yeah. See you later. Good morning. How are you doing? Been a little bit since I saw you. Sunday, today's the first day off. First day off? Wow. Yeah. Make the most of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How could you not? How much are you doing on them? Uh, <laughs> like ten dollars? Ten bucks. I'll be looking at maybe these and then these. Probably those three. Ten for the hackers and fifteen for these. Oh ten, fifteen and ten? Oh, yeah, let's do it. I have absolutely no idea what I was doing. Have a look at this. In what world would I buy that? I just I just paid ten dollars for that. I mean it wasn't as bad. I just peeled it off then, like I've just peeled look at that. It just came off like instantly. Good pair of shoes today, sir. I just found a good pair. Um, so anyway, just, you just gotta you just gotta do your research, guys. And by research, I just mean quality check. Just just look over it. The other shoe, God, it's not like it's even just one shoe. Look at this. What I'm trying to say in this rant before I get run over here. Um, what I'm trying to say here is that I I made a bad buy. Um, yeah, made a bad buy. We move on, don't we? we? We make mistakes every now and again, and that's all part of the journey. Um, the Hokers hopefully will get my money back, though. I'm hoping that the Hokers, hoping that the Hokers uh, can, yeah, can help me out a little bit. But, there's a lot of people today. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get back in there. How much are we doing on the docks, girls? Oh, set price. So I bet it's no a set price. No negotiating, no, no, eh? Boys. I've got a YouTube channel and you're on the YouTube channel oh. right now. <laughs> Say hello. We're just negotiating you're on these. Famous? You're famous. Well, who? Does that mean we get a discount on the docks? No, nah, um, I'm kidding. For you, $50. <laughs> Spoken like a good saleswoman. Uh, what size are they? Seven. Size seven on the docks for 50 bucks. Can even throw in a skirt. Look, oh. I got an offer for $80 online this morning, but I said yeah. $50. Are you, are you on eBay? No, I'm on Depop. Oh, you're Depopping. Depop, yeah, Depop nice. it. I got offer, said send it today, so, $8. And what, why, why, why are you selling it to me for $50? Because I can't be really bothered going to the post office and sending it. <laughs> it's so bad. I, um, I do eBay. Uh, so these will be going on to eBay today. Oh. Um, you get some good money on them on eBay. So, for that reason, I'll take you up your offer of 50. Oh, okay. 
I think I'm going to go 130. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if I'm honest. Wow. Um, yeah, That's well, what is business. as soon as you see that stitching, like here at the flea, you just go for it. Because yeah. you know, like, the sell, like we talk about sell through route on eBay pretty heavily. Yeah. And it's just conversion. Yeah. And we know that these will convert in like a week or two. But yeah. That's like wildfire. Um, oh. Normally I don't pay 50, but yeah. I know they're good. Yeah. No, post no post office trip. Um, we've got some market. What shoes are they? Pumas? Yeah, Pumas. Uh, Pumas won't do it, unfortunately. What about for $5? Nah, couldn't do it. <laughs> I don't even know if that'd actually convert for me. Oh. I don't know if that'd sell. Oh, actually, that'd be. Do you do, so do you post all your videos on YouTube as well? Yeah, it's the, um, the Aussie Flipper. The Aussie Flipper. Um, I've been oh, doing so it for. You just go out and find it and you flip it. I flip it. I just pick this up. I'll go home, take some photos on my oh, phone. Wow. Josh, we're going to go watch the video. Yeah. yeah, tune in. Put it in the comments. Say, hey, I'm the, I'm the Doc Girls. Oh, I, I, yep. And then we'll get everyone to, to like your we'll comment. Hype it up. Yeah, hype it up. We'll try and get some promotion on, your, yeah, yeah. on the resale. Throw it on your Instagram and then um, oh, get everyone to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Thanks, heaps. So that conversation there, guys, I'm just a big believer in that. Just complete upfront honesty. I told the girls, I'm looking to sell them onto eBay and I'm gonna sell them for 130 bucks. And they were cool about it. It's when you don't sort of tell your story and you get a little bit shirky and you get a little bit strange around people. Ah, to me, honesty is always the best approach. And um, you can work out some good deals, but you can also build some really good relationships. You know, I might come down here next week and those girls might be there and they might have another four pairs of Doc Martens. And because of how good the conversation just went with them, I'm probably going to be able to get those for a good price. I'm not saying they do have Doc Martens, and they probably won't be back next week. But it's just building that relationship, building that good, good withstanding with these people. Because I'm here every week, I may as well be just upfront and honest about it. One of the great movies. Yeah, um, another guy was going to come back, he come back here. It's a steal, man. Alright. Well played. Well played. You got some shoes, my man. What do you got there? Oh, shoes. Uh, toy toys. Oh, some more bits and pieces. Five Roblox toys. That's elite. How much you pay? I paid ten dollars for the whole box. Ten for the box? Yeah. Have you sold that Lego piece from last week? Yes. Have you? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you get eighty bucks for it? Yeah. Wow, well done, that's awesome. Geez, you got a bunch of cool collectibles, hey? Yeah. Well, they do well. He's got no, no aeroplanes, nothing. He's got no aeroplanes. Are you searching for the aeroplanes, are you? Oh, yeah. Are you? Yes, definitely. Interesting. I just got some stuff for you, probably. Nah, not me. Anything with a propeller on it. Anything with a propeller? Why, why is that, can I ask? That's what I'm stuck on. Aeroplanes with propellers. It's not my thing, it's in my brain. Yeah, we've all got our thing that we like to pick up, don't we? Well, that's like aeroplanes. That's one of my very favorite things. Yeah, right. How much for the puppy dogs? <laughs> a million? A million? Two million. Two million. You know, that's a, that's a bargain. Nineteen ninety five. Are these these aren't yours? No, not mine. No, not you. Oh, fascinating. Hey mate, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey buddy, how's things? You good? That's the way. What's happening? No mate, I've I've literally have a look at these. Just seen these um uh, other world you get a bit of cards, don't you? A little bit, yeah, no. Have you ever heard of other worlds? No. They're nineteen ninety two made a nineteen ninety five made in USA. Wow. Just a random out. It's not a complete set or anything. I'll point out and see if there are any. I don't know. Yeah, they just fascinate yeah. me because I know that these sorts of old cards do well. But yeah, are these uh, are these your cards? No, yeah. are they yours? What um, what are we looking at? What are they? They're just fantasy cards. Fantasy cards. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How much are you doing on the folders? Uh, that's ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah. And then this one? Yeah, it's ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah, that's pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. You watch my videos? Yeah. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you guys all watch. I try to make them watchable. I do my best. 
do my best to make them watchable. You're on right now, though. Did you know that? You know, you're, you, is, do you want to say anything to the people watching? Do you want to say anything to yourself? You'll be watching this back. Hi, myself. <laughs> That's brilliant. You'll be on. How much on the video games, mate? Five bucks. Five bucks. No. Eyes there? No worries. They all look pretty bread and butter to me, guys. I don't know. If you're seeing any crazy titles, let me know. But they all look pretty standard. You could do a Gears of War bundle, maybe. Assassin's Creed bundle. Oh, yeah, there's a good bundle there. Wow. Look at that. See, that's the sort of thing that would go well. Mm, might pass. Have a look at all of these DVDs. Could spend a bit of time in here and come out with some good results, I feel. High five dance hits. Original cast, volume two. Harry Potter. Even just obscure titles like this. I've never heard of this one. 20 something. I mean, that could be okay. And this one as well, season one. Oh, 20 something. There you go. Season one and two. Let's search that up. Nah, no good. PlayStation doesn't work, don't know, it was five bucks though. Oh, you'd take... And I've got, got a game with it, so... Like, it's got a cord too, so you can test it. Yeah, and it's got a um, silver controller. Oh, that's great. Needs some cleaning, but like, I couldn't leave it behind, you know. Nah, that, for how much? Um, five. Yeah, that's fine. And some cameras as well. Yeah, I've got some lenses. They're alright. Jeez, you're doing a lot better than I am, that's for sure. And I've got the, um, these. You do well on them. The Telstra 4G Wi-Fi, and paid five? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like, an, I don't know, I'd sell a lot of it on my store, so I think I'd rank high in it. Yeah, okay, so you sell so it well. I sell it faster than most. And you sell your others because you're putting more in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Baby. You've always, always, always <laughs> got to tip the bus guy. Look what we found here, how are we? How much are on this one? Dollar? This is the best booth here. The boys. I'll give you guys a pump up in today's video, fellas. I'm down at Friendly Bricks. Friendly Bricks? Lego, Pokemon, Magic. We'll buy and sell stuff too. We've got three sheds, yeah. three figures, jerseys, anything, guys. Die cast, Hot Wheels. The boys have, uh, have got the best position because the flea market's right here, but the boys are literally set up right next to the car boot. And they've got all of the collectibles you'd want in the world. They've got like DVDs that I'm about to buy off them. They've got all of the jerseys. Look at the storefront. This is a big storefront on it, big friendly bricks. Definitely worth coming down and checking out. They've got a bunch of Funko Pops, some clothing. You know, we buy collectibles and that's what they sell. It's a bunch of collectibles. Cool dudes too. And, uh, you know, I don't buy a lot of stuff off them because they're selling it for the stuff that, you know, the price that I'd want to sell it for. But things like this little one here for a dollar, that's going to turn into a good 20 or 30. Um, bunch of pops, bunch of comics. I've got it all. All right. Let's go get Brecky, eh? See you soon, brother. You too. How you doing? How much are these ones? 30 $30. Would you do 20? Um, yes. All right, let's do it. Well, that's a massive relief. I've totally redeemed myself off those bad Nikes that I bought earlier in the video. The Solomon XA Pro 3Ds, you can sell them for about 130 odd dollars. So to pick them up for 20 bucks, um, and they're in excellent condition, and they're a great size. That is a huge shoe brand for you guys to be looking for. Um, in Australia, there's comps around $70 or $80, but it's the American comps, and I do a lot of international postage, so I'm gonna set that up for an American sale, uh, and I reckon I should be able to get about 120, 130. So, what I'm trying to say is, we made up for our blunder earlier in the day. The 10 bucks has been recouped with the Solomon 3D XA Pros. So, um, 
It's a really good feeling down here today. There's, uh, I don't know, good weather. A lot of people out and about. I'm finding some okay stuff. I wouldn't say the stalls are necessarily the best ever, but people are friendly, having a chat, saying a hello or two. You don't really get to do a lot of that when you do this eBay game. It's quite isolating. So I really like to come out here and just show face, say hello, talk the talk, and then walk the walk and find some cool stuff. So, yeah. Let's, um, let's just get back into the next booth. I'll go 10 on those, hey? Then you got some more. Oh, these are triple long quadruple packs, they're $3. Three bucks on those. Grab my shoes. Um, so you had a big bundle, did you, at Monster High? Yeah. Yeah, right. There was uh, one double pack, but yep. all the rest were singles. But yeah, there were more than the five there. Yeah, right. Um, $8 all the new ones. Are they brand new? Are they, these ones aren't, all the rest are. Oh, all the rest are, gotcha. Yeah. How much that did you do on that? Eight dollars. Eight. Did you go five if I did ten on that? Fifteen? No? I paid thirty-five and it scared the bejesus oh. out of me and I watched the first. Oh really? First Got spooked out by it. Is, yeah, it's a big horror one that one, isn't it? No, but I know it's a good show. Oh, okay. Uh, so you want eight and you want ten. Eighteen. Alright, let's see what I got. Incredible. Thank you very much. I was actually strangely tempted with the My Little Pony bundles. Um, the, the sales on eBay actually weren't that great, so I don't know why I was so excited about them. I actually do know why. It was because there were so many. There were 41 of them, and I felt like that could have been a really good bundle, but she was very adamant on $2 each. So she was charging $80 for those, and I mean, if I'm buying 40 DVDs, especially My Little Pony, I'm trying to get those things for like 25, 50 cents. Um, so very happy that I put the My Little Ponies back, but I did pick up that Monster High bundle. I paid 10 and I'm going to try, probably try and sell it for 45. Um, so I'm really doing, I speak about it so much now on this channel, but I'm really focusing a lot more on bundles. I would normally pass on the Monster Highs because they're only five to $7 DVDs. But in a bundle, buying for 10, selling for 45, that's like a pair of shoes. Um, really good turnaround. And Monster High is pretty popular. So I think that should be a, a good buy. Um, and, then, and then I grabbed Salem as well because that'll go into a small satchel. That was $8. I didn't even check the comps. I just think that's a really good TV show. And I think from memory, the, the comps are pretty decent. I'll put it up on screen. Um, so yeah, my first DVD purchases of the uh, of this little flea market run, which I'm surprised by because normally I would have bought a few more by now. All right, guys. Um, I have bought four pairs of shoes and I've got two different uh, DVD listings. So only the six listings coming away from today, but apart from that, and I didn't actually count the Nikes because I'm gonna throw them in the bin the second I get home. Um, so yeah, still six listings, not a lot of stock, but really the aim of the game today was to just pop out and say hello, to have a bit of a chat, um, meet, a, meet a few of the resellers and uh, yeah, I think I think the Doc Martens are the steal of the day, to be honest. So I should be able to get about 150 having a look at the comps on those. And they're in excellent condition as well. Um, we just bought so much stuff throughout the week, right? Um, if you've been watching the channel, so many bulk buys over the last few days that uh, we've pretty much got all of next week's listings covered, which is incredibly rare for me. I never have anything more than a day or two ahead of the game. Um, so a huge relief, which has really taken the pressure off today. Uh, I could kind of go in there and cherry pick and not spend a heap of money. Uh, albeit, I'll probably still spend about 100 bucks considering the docks were 50. Um, but I can't not come down to the flea market because even if, like I touched on it earlier in the video, even if I don't buy anything, the conversations that you have with these vendors is equally, hold on, sorry, this, how about that? Wow. Ooh. Um, hey guys, I'm just wrapping up the video. Hey. I'm just wrapping up the video. We have so much thanks for you. Oh, no stress. Can I tell you something? Of course. 
My son was just awarded uh, an Emerging Entrepreneur Award on Friday from his college. Oh, you're kidding. Because you've inspired him so much with his eBay store and his YouTube channels and his thrifting. How good is that? And his collectibles, so thanks to you. Oh, that's incredible. That. Knuckles, my man, well done. Thanks. So is that a, is an award ceremony you got coming up, is it? No, no, nice. it was an award yes. ceremony on um, Already done. In Brisbane, yeah. Congrats. He goes to Australian Christian College. Oh, that's so a lot. Yeah, Have you got a photo? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, I got a photo. Shoot me um, on Instagram the yeah, photo. Yeah, he got four awards, oh. but one of them was an Emerging Entrepreneur Award. Oh, that's incredible, so, guys. Yeah, so thank you so much. No stress at all. Hey, have and a also, nice you've had a good day. See ya. See you later. Wow. Wow. That's not a great way to wrap up this video. I don't know what is. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Keep, keep digging. Keep working hard. Keep listing up every single day. Keep working on your knowledge. That's all it is. Literally, it's just week after week coming down to the flea. Jesus Christ. Um, it's, just, it's just compounding is what it is. You know, you just put the knowledge that you gain from each and every session out there hunting. Keep it in the memory bank for the next hunt. The next hunt gets easier. Before you know it, you've done it for a few years. You've made a lot of connections. You know a lot of stuff. And the, the game is just rigged in your favour. Um, so yeah, that's a perfect example of why I come down to the flea, even on quiet days like today. Um, there's just good people in the area, good people doing the same sort of thing that you can mix with. Mm, and it's also really cool to kind of have you guys come along for the ride with me. Um, I'm at the car. Just made it to the car, so my hand's shaking because I've been holding this camera up for so damn long. So, I think I might just end the video there and... Maybe chill out a little bit this afternoon and give all this stuff for Courtney to list up tomorrow. I'll be filming tomorrow as well, guys. Big what sold. Um, just sold a PlayStation 2 console while I was in the flea, so i gotta got to find a box for that, I know already. Um, so, yeah, appreciate you being here for another mission to the flea, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.